All right. What I have here is the Yezu 757GX2 with the very, very poor receive. Uh, the radio functions, it transmits. Uh, we're hooked up to an 80 meter dipole at the moment. Um, and let's see, the RF amplifier is now on. Receiving at 3812. And we can hear some stuff. But of course I'm at like almost three quarters volume. And there's no movement. No movement whatsoever. I don't know how well we can hear this. So after working on this for a little while, taking a look at the owner's manual, not the service manual, the owner's manual. Let's turn this off. Uh, I found that the receiver front end has a protection fuse, which is actually a bulb. I think it is 8 volts, uh, 100 microamps. Uh, with a small magnifying glass you can actually see that the filament is bad but just temporarily for diagnostics uh, I'll jump this and Don um, Trump Jr. Uh -huh. on some kind of a site and it's, it's potentially some pretty large uh, fines because of the uh, So it's a couple KCF, but as you can see, the volume now, I barely, barely need to have the volume up. You can actually even turn the amplifier off. And you still get a great signal. And uh, AGC, let's uh, turn that off fast. And let's turn the attenuator on. So even with the attenuator on, I'm still getting... And I think those coal miners in western Pennsylvania are going to be waiting a long time for the jobs to come back. So that's it. The front end of the receiver took a took a hefty load at one point. And, uh... Yep. And blew out that fuse. So, go up to Radio Shack. I think they actually have those in stock. Uh, go ahead and put that on and uh, go from there.